historic organization. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Simon Bertolette. He's executive director of the Berks History Center. Thanks so much for being with us. Great to be with you, Jill. Now, I've always introduced you as executive director of the Histo Historical Society of Berks County, now the Berks History Center. You have a new brand, a new logo, a new name. Why so? It's an exciting time, yes. We've, uh, we looked at the Historical Society, and the Historical Society of Berks County it was incorporated in 1869, and with our membership of 2000, it makes us one of the oldest and largest historical societies in the nation. But, you know, the only constant in life is change, and even historical societies have to change with the times. We had known that, you know, our membership knows, has known us as the historical society for a long time, and it served us very well. But there are many new members in Reading and Berks County who either haven't known us or who have said to us, well, you know, I've, I know about the Historical Society, but I always thought it was a private club and an exclusive organization that I couldn't be a part of. Well, nothing could have been further from the truth, but perceptions are reality, and the Board of Directors and I and the staff knew that we needed to dispel that that perception. And you've done that through a variety of different measures. Obviously, you have a new name. It's now Burke's History Center, but you have a new logo as well. Right. Uh, really uh, an overall rebrand. It, it is a rebranding. That's exactly what it is. We wanted to have a brand that was reflective and embracing of a contemporary society and the diversity of our community, and quite simply, one that was more welcoming, that would welcome all, that they could look at that and they could relate to to the organization. And uh, you also have a new tagline, Preserve, Educate, Inspire. So that's what you are working to do. But you have a new mission, too, in terms of your mission statement. It goes back to the core of what you have been doing as an organization, but maybe presenting it in a way that, as you've mentioned, may be more inclusive to new membership. Well, that's right. That's right. We have always uh, been an educational organization. Our new mission is the Burke's History Center is an educational center that serves to engage and excite our community by interpreting its unique past to understand the present and inspire the future. And when we look at that, along with our tagline, Preserve, Educate, and Inspire, we want those to precisely reflect what we do as an organization through the educational programming that we bring to the citizens of Berks County. So an organization that was started in the days following the Civil War is getting mm -hmm. a new brand, but it really goes back to some of the ideas that you've worked to incorporate over the years in terms of special programming, exhibits, reaching out to the public to help them better understand what has happened for centuries right here in our own community. That's correct. And like I said, we have right now we're showcasing the Civil War. In November, we're going to take a little bit different turn. We're going to examine the period of 1963 from Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, the JFK assassination, to the arrival of the Beatles and their appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show in February 1964. You know, history, that's history now, and it was a very pivotal time uh, uh, in the nation and in Berks County. And we are trying and we want to showcase events like that and again, events that are relevant to a 21st century audience. And now the Historical Society of Berks County will be the Berks History Center, but still looking at some of the things that you've done traditionally, but with an eye on the future as well. Absolutely. We are still under the umbrella of the Historical Society of Berks County, but we have the Berks History Center at 940 Center Avenue, the Henry Johnson Library, and the Hendel House. Thanks so much for being with us. It's great to be here. We've been talking with Simon Bertolette. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you.